Today, news from the European Hematology Association meeting. All that and more starts right now on OncLive News Network. Hello and welcome, I'm Laura Jones. Last week, hematologists from around the world attended the 20th Congress of the European Hematology Association in Vienna, Austria. Building on hematologic trial presentations at ASCO, researchers discussed findings in CLL, AML, ALL, and other leukemias and lymphomas. First, the Phase 3 Complement 2 trial demonstrated that adding ofatumumab to fludarabine and cyclophosphamide improved progression-free survival by 54% over chemotherapy alone in patients with relapse CLL. Median progression-free survival, overall response rate, and complete response rates were all superior in the ofatumumab arm. Median overall survival, however, was not significantly different between the two study arms. In April 2014, the FDA approved ofatumumab in combination with chloroambucil for previously untreated patients with CLL who were considered ineligible for treatment with chemotherapy. Novartis may seek approval for use of the drug in relapse CLL based on these data. More good news in the ALL relapsed setting. A large global phase 3 study demonstrated the superiority of inotuzumab ozogamicin over standard chemotherapy in patients with relapsed ALL. Although one primary endpoint, overall survival, had not been reached at the time of analysis, the other primary endpoint of complete response or complete response with incomplete platelet recovery rate showed a significant improvement in the investigational arm over the chemotherapy arm. Even with the overall survival data pending, researchers and Pfizer are hopeful that the final analyses will prove evidence to support an FDA approval. Additional clinical trials are assessing inotuzumab ozogamicin as treatment for patients with other hematologic malignancies. Finally, June is Cancer Immunotherapy Month. This is the third annual event aimed at raising awareness globally of the growing research and clinical evidence mounting in the field of immunotherapy. The Cancer Research Institute is hosting numerous educational programs, fundraising events, and social activities in the community and online. Visit cancerresearch.org to explore the schedule of events. In honor of Immunotherapy Awareness Month, Dr. Howard Kaufman, the current president for the Society for Immunotherapy of Cancer, describes the history of immunotherapy. We've recognized for many years that the immune system can in fact recognize and eradicate cancer cells. And although this has been recently reported as the breakthrough of the year, this actually dates back to almost 100 years ago uh, to William Coley, who was a surgeon who made the first observation that patients who were exposed to what we think was a bacterial infection at the time also had regression of their tumors. And so he spent much of his career trying to identify what he thought were toxins in these bacterial infections that might be responsible for mediating the tumor regression. Today we understand that the system is much more complex, that tumor cells will uh, can express certain antigens and these antigens are likely the source that can stimulate a uh, T cell response. Uh, T cells um, are the cells that we think can normally mediate viral clearance during a viral infection. And these cells have now been shown uh, certainly well established in mouse models uh, and increasingly established in humans that these cells can in fact survey the body for cancer cells and under certain situations they can identify a cancer cell as different from a normal cell and then can mediate a uh, destructive reaction against it. To hear more of Dr. Kaufman's views on the current and future roles of immunotherapy, please visit the website on your screen. And for your patients, a resource guide on immuno-oncology is available on onclive.com. Visit the website on your screen and scroll down to see this and all available resource guides for patients. And that'll do it for today. Thanks so much for watching OncLive News Network. I'm Laura Jones. We'll see you next time.